Net income is one of the most commonly used and talked about financial metrics. Um, you'll find it on the income statement for a company. It's important to understand because it's in relation to a whole bunch of other metrics. Uh, it's used to judge profitability and the relative health of a company. So uh, let's talk about exactly mathematically what net income is and sort of how it relates in the discussion of profitability around a corporation. Net income is an expression of a company's total earnings or profit. Um, you guys have probably heard people refer to this as the bottom line. You've heard say, like, you know, what's the bottom line? Does that company make money? The reason they call it the bottom line is because net income appears uh, very low on the financial statement. The bottom line, of, I'm sorry, on the income statement. It's the, it's the actual bottom line of the income statement. And it's a measure of profitability and therefore of general health uh, of a company over a period of time. So let's talk about exactly what net income is, and I'll give you some synonyms that are commonly used uh, in, in, you know, in relation to net income. You'll hear a bunch of words that sort of mean the same thing. So first of all, let's understand this concept of earnings before taxes. Uh, because if we don't earn any money, of course, we're not going to pay any taxes if we don't earn any profit. Uh, so how do we figure how much money we have to pay taxes on for a company? In this case, you go through a mathematical equation. You take revenue generated minus cost of goods sold minus operating expenses minus financial expenses. And if there's any money left, you know, say you do a million in revenue and you add up all these other expenses and it's 900,000 and you've got 100 grand left over, that's what you pay taxes on. So then you're going to figure taxes based on this number and pay those taxes. And whatever's left is net income. Okay? So net income is basically earnings before taxes minus taxes. Uh, and earnings before taxes is revenue minus all this other crap, basically every other expense your company has. And we'll get into more detail in other videos about how these expenses are split up. So synonyms uh, are also important. You'll hear people refer to net income sometimes as net profit, net margin, or net earnings. Um, these are all variations of the same idea. Net profit refers to the dollar value left here after you take earnings before taxes and, and subtract taxes. So whatever money you have left is net profit, how many dollars. Net margin is simply the percentage of revenue that, that uh, of revenue in relation to revenue that those dollars represent. So again, if we had a million, we subtracted all this other crap, and we have a hundred grand left, and we paid thirty grand in taxes, so we have seventy grand left. Seventy grand would be the net profit, and seven percent would be the the uh, net margin. You know, if someone said, what's your profit margin? You'd say 7%. If someone said, how much profit did you make last year? You'd say 70 grand. And that's the only difference. And then they also refer to it as net earnings sometimes. So sort of when you're having conversations, financial conversations, um, you know, keep an eye out for, for those uses around net income. All right, so um, in order to understand net income a little better, let's talk about uh, how it's related to other metrics. Uh, this is actually a really interesting and important um, group of metrics that should help you break down uh, exactly what net income is, and then we'll do a couple examples. So let's start with sales revenue. If you take your sales revenue that you did over any period of time, and you subtract your cost of goods sold, how much did it cost to, to build those products, you get the number of gross profit. We did a separate video on gross profit and gross margin. So that's your gross profit number. If you take gross profit and you subtract selling general and administration expenses, sometimes people call them operating expenses, you get EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Okay? If you, there's another video on that. If you get EBITDA and subtract depreciation and amortization, the D and the A, you get EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes. So there'll be another video on that. If you subtract interest expenses, is that did I, if my company borrowed any money, did I have to pay interest on what I borrowed? If you subtract that, and uh, you, then you use that number you figure taxes on that number, and you take the taxes out, that leaves you with net income. Remember, you, all that goes to, it's like revenue minus everything else goes to earnings before taxes, then you figure taxes and you subtract that, uh, that leaves you with net income. So, um, all these ter terms are important terms to know when discussing the financial health of a company. If someone asks you, does your company profitable? You can say, yes, we had net income last year. What was your gross profit? I'm sorry. <laughs> what was your net profit? Oh, our net profit was $70,000. Well, what was your profit margin? 7% uh, in our last example. 
So all these numbers are referring to the same relationship uh, between these, I'm sorry, all these terms are referring to the same relationship between these ratios. So let's talk about good outcomes and bad outcomes. Let's use a fictitious company. We've got Hasselhoff El Guapo action figures. You know, we're making plastic action figures in a factory in Mexico, and we're buying them from the factory, and then we're reselling them uh, in Europe to fans of David Hasselhoff. So good outcomes are they sell really well in Europe. We sell out of our inventory, so we sold a million dollars in revenue. And the cost of goods sold for those million dollars, meaning how much did I pay to generate the, uh, those, to make the dolls, was 500 grand. My operating expenses, this could be sales expenses, traveling, advertising, all that stuff, uh, offices, was, was 300 grand. I had some equipment that depreciated, and that was $30,000 worth of depreciation. And then how much interest did I pay? Zero, because I didn't borrow any money. And then how much taxes am I going to pay? So the first thing I have to figure is, like, did I make any money, and do I have to pay taxes? So in this case, I've got 500 plus 300 plus 30 is 830 grand. That's what I spent on this. Uh, and so if I made a million dollars in revenue, and I had 830 grand in expenditures, and I've got 170 grand in earnings before taxes. So I'm going to use a 35% tax rate, and that means I have to pay about 60 grand in taxes. So I take 830, uh, and oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually going to add 60 to that. That's 890 in total expenditures, which leaves me with $110,000 in net profit. So if someone says, what's my net profit? I say 110 grand. If they say, what's your net margin? What's the profit margin? It's 110,000 in relation to a million in revenue. So this is 110,000 divided by 1 million in revenue. That's 11% profit margin. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I made a bunch of money. Good for me. That's a good outcome. Bad outcome looks different. In this case, I ended up having to discount the dolls because nobody wanted them. So when I sold out of my inventory, that was 700,000. My cost of goods sold was still 500,000. My operating expenses were even higher because I had to do all this discounting and special advertising. So that was 400,000. And my depreciation and amortization was still 30. So if I go through the same process, right here we've got 930000 that I spent. So do I have to pay any taxes? I don't, because I only generated seven hundred in revenue. I'm actually out $230,000 right now. So I don't even need to worry about uh, taxes or uh, any of that stuff. I'm, what I really need to worry about is how I'm going to pay my employees. <laughs> this business isn't going to operate for very long. So that's... Uh, in a very simple way what businesses are doing when they're looking at their income statement uh, and when they're thinking about the concept of net income. It's essentially saying, am I making a profit and how do I figure that out? Uh, first I figure out whether or not I need to pay taxes or any money left over when I take revenue and I take all the other expenses away from my revenue. If there's money left over, then I pay those taxes. That's my net income. And then when I'm talking about dollars, I use net profit. When I'm talking about percentages, I use net margin. Uh, those are the terms that people are going to ask you. So hopefully that's a good uh, explanation and a basic way of what net income is.